I just moved to downtown San Diego, and I figured I'd go ahead and take a nice cruise throughout the streets of downtown and see the sunset at the end of the video. So this is the place right next to my lobby. And also, make sure you subscribe so I can buy a better GoPro for later. Because the one I have right now is not the best, and I need to get a better one. But uh, right next to me right here is the UCSD Graphic Art Building. There's like a bunch of classes that go on in there, and there's also free movies that are in there as well on the weekends, but it's all like indie movies and things that aren't mainstream movies at all. And right here at this intersection is where the market is. And there's always people walking around and usually a couple of homeless people here and there, but I haven't had any problems uh, with them. Most of the streets in downtown San Diego, kind of the sidewalks are like this where they're mostly smooth, just with kind of fat cracks. And right now I'm skating like 52 wheels, which I really need to get bigger wheels. I think I'm gonna switch to like some 56s and get those dragon wheels. And maybe I'll do a video on those later. But there's a ton of bars around. Sun is always beaming down. I was close to the sunset, so I wanted to try to cruise down the streets before the sun went down so I can get to the marina and kind of check that out and roll around there. But it's usually pretty chill to go in the middle of the street, skate down the middle of the street without having to deal with cars. If you're going uh, against traffic, then you kind of judge where cars are and, you know, go with the traffic. If some cars coming towards you, you don't easily get out the way, but it's usually not congested in the middle of the day like it was this day. I think it was like Thursday, I want to say. Oh wait, no, it wasn't Thursday. I think this was uh, last Friday, I think. Yeah, it was Friday. Yesterday. Um, and right here is Petco Park. So Petco Park is pretty sick. Oh, check out this dog. <laughs> Freaking dog just started chasing me out of nowhere. But um, this is Petco Park. It's like pretty awesome, like during the games and stuff. I think you can go into the park, this part of the park, and like watch the games from here. And like it's free, I believe. Could be totally wrong though. And then there was nowhere to go from here. So I kind of had to backtrack and go back the way I came. But uh, luckily, I know that this building, you can walk through it to get to the other side, and not go back the way that I went in. But yeah, this building is huge. There's like a really nice gym in it. Also, there's a really cool lobby. And I was wondering what this guy was gonna say to me. But he was actually nice. Didn't say anything. He was cool. He was very cool. Oh, art. Got some random art on the wall. Which I need to make some art for my wall at my house. I don't have anything on my walls yet. But. On the other side of this building is the other entrance to Petco Park and also more condos where one of my friends actually lives and my other friend Kevin doesn't live there anymore but that's where I met him. He used to live in that building. Uh, thread the needle. Yeah, all the ground around Petco Park is the absolute worst if you have small wheels like I do right here. But yeah, if you're in the street, then you're pretty much chilling. So this other building over here is a new building that they built. And it has these really cool seashell things and rocks sticking out of the ground. And you'll see in like two seconds. So like that whole situation. It's like a cool little rock and like this other one you can kind of jump onto. Felt kind of cool, like a little 5-0 grind, sort of, but I don't think it grinded. So I guess a manual. I did a manual on it. But, um, yeah, that building is kind of sick. I was actually going to live in that building, but then I heard that it floods a lot. Also, I hadn't skated in, like, two weeks because of moving and packing and unpacking and all that. So excuse my kickflips. They're not the best right now. But they get better towards the end of skating in <laughs> this video. 
Uh, yeah, there's Petco Park. Petco Park's like really cool inside. And, like I don't even like baseball, but like going to the games is really fun. Oh, this guy. 180 up. Boop. And uh, just feeling like the energy of like the crowd and stuff is cool. Cause yeah, I don't really like baseball even, but it's fun when you're with like a group of people and everybody's hanging out. The worst ground right here too. It's like the closer you get to Petco Park, the worse the ground gets. It's so annoying. Then this bridge that I'm going up to, they built it like when I was 22. I'm 31 now. It's like almost 10 years ago, I want to say. And uh, it's really cool. I would just would like to go on walks sometimes just to walk across the bridge when I used to work downtown. But there are hella stairs to get up to the top of the bridge. But when you look off to the side, you see the sun. Yeah, I definitely need a better GoPro so you can see this better. And it's not as shaky as this is. <laughs> Maybe I'll buy one soon and redo this video. But until then, we go to this really cool uh, like marina. Or it's like, it's like a amphitheater that they built recently that I have never gone to yet. And it's on the other side of this bridge next to that Hilton over there. But yeah, this, I think it's called the suspension bridge, right? Cause this giant pole, oh, check out this kickflip that I didn't make. Oh, but guess what? I never give up. I'll kickflip again. That's okay, I didn't make it. I almost hit that guy, it's fine. He didn't mind. But now I got the hang of it, don't worry. There you go. There it goes. <laughs> Feel a lot better on that one. That suspension bridge is sick. Are we all these stairs? Just kidding. So, right here next to it, that whole place is where, to the right, is where they have Comic Con. And like every year when Comic Con is going on, I've gone inside to Comic Con almost every year. But uh, this thing too. everything around it is more fun. Yeah. This thing looks sick though. Cool. It's fun to drop in on from the yeah. from the middle. I didn't go from the top, which honestly I should have just went from the top. It doesn't really spit you out that fast at all. But so far, it's like we went almost a mile away from my house at this point, or my apartment building. And then this is like my favorite place to go when I work downtown, like skating. I just come down here and roll around skate fly ground, like next to the Hilton, just cause it looks sick and the ground is super smooth. Car, but you know, we're going fast enough. He was chilling. So on the other side of the bridge, right next to the Hilton, we have these giant metal sculptures that like honestly I've oh my god that was a bad k-flip I've never really looked at them too much but I was checking them out the other day and I was like these are kind of messed up now but more importantly below it are these buttery ledges look at this super icy well it felt icy when I put my board on it, but as soon as I, as soon as I, I like decided like, okay, I'll try to roll into this and skate it. I realized like, okay, it's like old ice. It's not very icy at all. Actually, it's pretty, pretty dry. Kickflip's getting better throughout the, throughout the session, a little bit better here and there. And then I also realized if you go at this ledge from like where I am, the best way I think to go from up here is to ollie over one of those ledges, but I was not warmed up or ready to try that at all. And honestly, that sounds scary, so I tried to swerve in. But aside from that, if I just roll around in the circle, it would be good. But there's a there's a lady off to the left there, sitting down, like reading a book or something right there. So I didn't want to run into her or him. That's a guy, never mind. It was a guy. So I just tried to push from there to get some speed to try to get on this ledge to see if it slides. But honestly, it just got really stuck when I tried to get on there. 
And it's funny, after I was done filming this video, on the way back, there was a guy there waxing the ledge. So this double set over here is a kind of like a low-key double set. I haven't really seen too many people skate it. Um, a lot of like San Diego dudes, like Skate Mafia dudes, like I'm pretty sure Wes Kramer did a trick on it. Also like Alexis did a trick on it and I'm sure a few other people that I'm not thinking of got some tricks on it but um the thing about it is that you can't really skate it by yourself because one you need someone to hold the gate open and you also need someone to uh I mean you can skate it with just someone just to skate for fun but if you have someone holding the gate open and you want to film a trick like nobody's going to be able to film the trick so you need like at least three people with you so the runway is really short and then that if that door is closed but if the door is open then you're good I can't, I'm in the middle of the stairs. this guy rolling by on his bike and his shorts and yelled at me to do a kickflip and i was like i'm in the middle of the stairs i can't do a kickflip freaking I don't, I've never, I've never had someone actually yell that at me. Like, do a kickflip. So this gate used to be a lot shorter, where you could reach over the gate and open the door. But now it's like, you gotta climb over it if you want to skate it. He like stopped to watch me to see if I was going to skate it. I was like, I'm not going to try to skate this, especially if this dude's not enough runway. hanging up. Need someone to hold the gate. The gate's locked. I was thinking, I was like, I should ask this dude to hold the gate for me. But honestly, I was not feeling trying to jump down that double set because it's a decent size honestly it's not the like biggest double set but it's definitely like we'll get your blood going at least a little bit if you jump down especially since i haven't skated in like two weeks because of moving and everything but yeah make sure you subscribe because i'm going to be putting out a lot more content just skateboarding content in general a bunch of my friends are down to go film some stuff so i'm gonna be hitting them up and going to spots and filming them skate along with whatever i'm doing but more vlog type content i guess it is but uh oh this ledge always would front nose really good i always like trying to do front noses on it but um it was super sticky super sticky <laughs> but uh yeah there's the during there's a there's a time of year I don't know if it's every year or once in a while where people come with their yachts here and there's always yachts there but there's when like a lot of like rich people will like come congregate in San Diego with their giant yachts all here at this like port so like when you're cruising right here if you look to the left where the yachts are oh see that was the best kickflip I did the whole time but the the yacht thing. Oh, wait, what about nollie flips? That's okay, I was just practicing. But the yacht thing, okay? They're wild. And the people getting on and, off, on and off of them, ooh, wet nollie flip, are also looking pretty wild. They always look like, uh, I don't know, something about it, like really rich people that just look like, like, like almost like you're looking at a rare species of people. I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, this the ground here is like the smoothest that I got, like, the whole time I went skating, so I tried to do a few tricks here and there on the uh, roll on over to the amphitheater because the amphitheater is really sick. It's like it feels like you're like in a video game or something. Nice little nollie big flip, feels real nice. Moving along, cruising along. So, this is the back side, so that's where some of the yachts are. So, those yachts are probably crazy expensive like really rich people probably own those yachts but then this one over here is like that guy's like he's he's really doing it he's doing it real big there's some guy down there like fixing a little boat so over there in the distance you can kind of see the amphitheater but yeah that thing i wanted to see if i saw someone like walking on the thing down there to <laughs> to ask him if I could get get on the yacht, I'm like, yo, can I? Can I come in your yacht and hang out? Try to put these ledge real quick. Yeah, it was like, 
really, really short. And those those handles, uh, or those arms, armrests on the bench were like super in the way. I'm so far. Oh, the amphitheater. Take a look. Those little bike carts are like everywhere around here. And for the most part, it's kind of a rip off. Like, especially if you're going like less than a mile, they'll still charge you like $15 to go less than a mile away. That ground is the worst going towards Seaport Village. Maybe I'll make another one where I get some better wheels and I can cruise through Seaport Village and also get a better GoPro because this quality is not the best, but you can still kind of get the gist of it. Like it's pretty sick, like just being down here and cruising around. It's like, it's like a super, super heaven on earth. So that's the amphitheater over there. Got a wet front nose real quick. Oh yeah, to Faithy. Well, front nose stall, but whatever, front nose nonetheless. So further down this way is where that amphitheater is. And then they had like a gate that I was about to go cruise through to get to, but then I saw in that little booth right there, there was a security guard guy. So I was like, oh, I'll go in a different gate. I don't want some guy to yell at me just for cruising in here. I'm not skating anything. I was just kind of checking it out, you know? Oh, yeah. Over there, ton, like really smooth flat ground for this basketball court that a lot of like San Diego local dudes used to go skate all the time. Like Jimmy Cow, Kellen James, Jamie Palmore, the old mafia dudes. Oh, look at that ship. That's cool. There's a, there's always like, because obviously San Diego is kind of a military town. So there's always uh, big, big ships like cruising in and out of uh, San Diego's bay. And then uh, on this dock, there's always uh, people like just fishing off the dock. So it's pretty like relaxing to go kick it there. But uh, when I walked up this time, there was a guy with a speaker playing Candy Shop by 50 Cent, which was kind of strange, but uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't like it. I always say it was something man to people when I'm randomly cruising around. But yeah, big dock. To the left, Coronado Bridge. Another dog. There's a lot of people with dogs downtown. Oh, look over there. But yeah, I wanted to go over to that amphitheater bad because I've never been there and I always see it and I'm like, that's where I want to go. Amphitheater. That looks actually sick. I feel like it's a like a level in like a Halo video game or something. I don't know. But um I'm pretty far from home too. I yeah I I definitely felt like I got really far from my house like pretty quick because this is about 18 minutes of like skating pushing around the town and like I was already like two three miles away from like my house so yeah I felt like oh man I'm starting to get tired at this point too so I was like uh I don't know if it's gonna be a Jill Cruz back. Oh. Yeah. Super cool. It looks like a giant, like a spaceship landed there. And it's got all these speakers and like uh, lights and all this crazy situations going on up there for like parties and. <laughs> I've never been over here. Okay, I think which building is mine? I actually can't see it. I'm really far away from home. <laughs> yeah, I was like looking for the building that yeah, like a scooter or something. that I live in. <laughs> oh. This is pretty fun. Didn't really get to skate that much. I noticed a little. Oh no, I didn't even make the nose a little much. 
Like this happened. How concrete. fun would it be though to just like go inside that Four shell days. thing and just try to pump back and forth it's as high sick, as you can? Actually, I want to come here and film some videos. It's so tight. <laughs> That's awesome. Super cool. Hey, oops. I broke something. So. I'll set that. Sorry, security guy. Security guy's like that. Yeah, this is downtown San Super Diego. Cool. I'm going to try to get a better GoPro oh. so that way I can make I more cool videos like this. Uh, but down. maybe with a little bit better quality on the sunsets. Check out the sunset. But make sure you subscribe, like, leave a comment, let me know if you like this content, you want to see more cruising through San Diego with maybe a better camera. And uh, I love you guys. I will see you later. Well, you are in the middle of the day. Oh, check out this little thing. That was cool.